Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? Happy Friday, whatever in the world you are. Welcome to April 12 energies. Daily energies, as many, many times you do know, these energies are coming in today. Some of you, you already been through something similar or even though quite serious here. Some of you, you are gonna go through this or others of you, you are going currently. Let's announce what we have for this day. How the energies are. We have the judgment. We have the five of swords. We have the chariot. Justice. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and Queen of Swords. All right. I'm having air energy here, but something here, some of you could hold back to not go or do something. But now you realize that it's, it's very much on you, the decision you make. I have a, um, a hot, cold energy here. It's kind of it's uh, your decision, what you do, regard whatever it is here. So some of you might deal here either with a fire sign, others either with, a, with an air sign. I have also Cancerian energy. But somebody here definitely is distancing themselves from someone. Been quite a while with this Two of Pentacles. For, um, for some reason, somebody here didn't really feel confident. Should I do this or should I not? Is someone here real or they are not? Let's see what this is about, loves. First card, we have Six of Swords. Yeah, movement. Death, change, even though I am not quite sure. Moon in Scorpio energy, Hierophant and Ace of Cups. Whoever here moves away from someone, it's moving on to something completely new and great. Doesn't necessarily because Many, many times when we ending certain things, we are not jumping into any other connections. It seems here somebody here learned a very strong lesson here with the strength and, and the will of fortune. Wow, I don't know what's going on these days, but probably the eclipse, it's still quite in effect, quite strong. Look at this major arcana. It's kind of, the universe tells you, you are better off and... It's better to learn this lesson. Don't be afraid to make these changes unless you want to stay stagnant. Look at this. Six of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Somebody here, whoever leaves something behind is moving towards this Ace of Cups. This Ace of Cups is kind of waiting you or been there for a while, just kind of dormant. But it's something here you pray and want it to. So if you loves, <clears throat> I don't know why my throat is um, bringing this. If you've been debating, should I do this or should I stay? Should I go or not? It's time for you to make a decision. All right, the Six of Swords. This also is happening till the full moon in Scorpio or within, it's kind of six days from now or till the full moon in Scorpio. Full moon in Scorpio we have on April 23rd. We are on the 12th. So we still have just a few more days. But let's see here. Six of Swords. Ten of Swords. For somebody here moves away from a situation that could be worse. You know, sometimes it's good to move forward when we need to, go to move forward, not to wait too long. And look at here. It's quite hard. 16 days from now, 6, 10 or 16 or... It's kind of by the end of the month. Because we are on the 12th. 
with the 16, 30 days, how many days we have. It's kind of by the end of the month because I don't know how many of you know or look for the months. It's just like January, February, March, April. It's the 30. Like then the knuckles here are 31st days and in between are 30 days if you consider like that. So it's kind of by the end of the month, you are definitely starting something new, moving towards something new. Wow. Why have you been in this hangman? Whatever here is, I feel like you, some of you might take it in a way, but with the hangman is kind of like see as a release. Don't feel like, well, I don't know if I will be stuck or what should I do? The hangman sometimes or many many times speaks about learn the lesson and do what you feel is right look from a different perspective this situation again i have this cup but i don't have any other cups besides this ace of cups ace of swords so clarity clarity comes to you loves after a while so see clearly where you are and what you want to do. Underneath we have the King of Pentacles. Whatever that is, work-wise, career, love-wise. With this ending or with this whatever here is changing or you are changing is going to bring you clarity a lot, a lot. For some of you, this is the beginning you always wanted with the, the starry energy here. Let's see here the, the death energy, nine of cups, moving away from some kind of comfort. You know, when we stay in the comfort zone, we are not growing. This is something here about growth and expansion with the nine of cups and the moon, five of cups. Don't be afraid to let go something. Again, it's kind of um, from a point emotionally, for some of you, even uh, mentally, you got to give yourself a chance to see that there's other ways to do or proceed forward in regards to the situation. One more card next to the Five of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Should I leave this? Should I go away from this? Well, definitely you need to. And Ten of Cups. Five of Cups, Ten of Cups. Whatever here you need to start and go, it seems here that is, if you want to be happy, if you want clarity, if you want to move towards something great, now is the time. The only Ten Loves missing here, as we have the Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, there's Ten of Wands missing. Ten of Wands speaks about the burden. We do have also the, the wheel here. And leaving something behind that kind of caused you a lot of headaches. A lot of, you know, stagnation. But let's see here. Why, why now and not sooner or not later? Why now? You got to move forward or why now this is happening because something here you realize that is not fulfilling you anymore and it's time to let go the past or a situation that doesn't fulfill you in any way it's like I said that we don't have any cups and look how many cups came up to the sun it's kind of moving on now look at this another six six of one six of swords six of cups six of pentacles is the one missing so some of you definitely moving a situation that it's is definitely not a give and take whatever that situation is look at here it's like six months from now or within six months as we speak right now you are definitely going to be much happier. So six months from now, we do have, we are now in the four months. So around the, the Libra season. 
or within the Libra season. Yeah. What else we should know? But still keeping up this Five of Swords. What's this Five of Swords here for? Seven of Wands. King of Wands. Somebody here will uh, still resist something that is already begun. Queen of Cups. Nine of Swords. And Two of Cups. For some of you, yes, there is a new life or a new love. But somebody here definitely deserve a chance. We have the King of Wands, Queen of Wands, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. And we have Queen of Swords. That really speaks here for some of you. Think for yourself, not for others. What's good for you? What you decide for yourself? What do you want for yourself? And that you shall have. What advice we have from Spirit? On the move, my darlings. <clears throat> Six of Wands speaks about move forward. Oh, King of Swords. You are crystal clear where you are moving towards. Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, this is about your work, your career. There's a lot of movement. There's a lot of messages. For some of you, you're about to sign certain uh, important contracts. And it seems here you are definitely looking forward this. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a new beginning here, loves, with the full. And it's kind of this new beginning you've been waiting for uh, a very long time. Somebody here, it's about their family. Somebody here, it's about a new career. I feel here there is a lot of, with this Five of Swords is, somebody here will make a decision that either their partner or someone will not agree. If you decide to leave your job, your, either your partner, either your you know, boss will not agree to leave that. Or there's something here that you decide to go forward. So right now we do have, for some of you, you want to go study something and you postpone and you postpone, but now you, you can't postpone that anymore. As now we do have this King of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. So the only core cards missing here is King and Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, definitely here, this is about getting yourself balanced and stable. For others of you, if you did manifest something in the 5D with the King and uh, Queen of Pentacles missing, it's coming now. Okay. So the advice is move forward. You know what you're putting in effort. And there is a lot of movement forward. For some of you... There's a lot of back and forth, which I'm feeling here. For some of you, you might travel a lot regards something or going. It's, it's a lot of movement. Whatever here was no movement, now will be a lot of movement. Another thing here, what I'm seeing as we have this Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Swords is missing. And Eight of Swords speaks of your... If you felt stuck or mentally blocked or you you feel it's no way for certain things to go that way or in a certain way, never say never, loves, because sometimes the universe will show you that you actually can do, you actually can move forward, you are not stuck. So this is kind of a proof that you can achieve those, let's say, let, you can achieve that degree or you can achieve that financial situation or that career or something here that you postpone for whatever reason can be 
take them. Can, you can have it. Your life can change. If you feel there's no way I will go away from a situation. Or there's no way this is ever changing. Again, never say never. Certain things here will change and will look... I don't know why I'm, I'm hearing formidable. Amazing. For... I don't know. There is a song about formidable. Formidable. I don't know. But I'm not a good singer. But yeah. That's what's coming in. And the Six of Wands is quite promising. Wow. So whoever connects this will realize that big awakening that actually I'm not that way. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you waited some, some kind of things here to move forward. And they will. Okay. But let's see. Individual Zodiac Science, as always, what we have for you at this time. Starting with, of course, our Aries. Daily energy for you, darlings. We have... Your opposite zodiac sign, Libra. We have the uh, the Devil and King of Swords. Wow! So some of you, Aries, you might be in a situation that you you really need to put some effort. For some of you, you want, might get off from a marriage which is with someone very toxic. For others of you, you are in a legal situation that. It's kind of uh, bring you some headaches. For some of you, you spend a lot of money on certain things. But it seems here you are going to get clarity. Look at this. You are going to get clarity. For some of you, you will realize that there's no way just to leave something behind. You know, sometimes cutting our losses, it's better than not. Because we are going to lose even more. Yeah. So for some of you, it's kind of like wish someone the best, then fight them. Sometimes, you know, it's better to know when to lose the battle and when to win the war. That's, that's very different. On the way to Taurus, where are you going, darlings? Because it's somewhere you are going. For some of you, it's a very busy day work-wise, career-wise, but it seems here you you definitely are very busy. However, you like this kind of busy times. It's busy, it's profitable, it's good, and feels like, you know, when you are busy and when things coming, you know, come one after another one, definitely it's good. For some of you, there's something here finally starts to move or finally starts to bring you some kind of progress. Good days are ahead. Gemini's, we have five of swords for you. We have the emperor and king of pentacles. For some of you, if you are married, somebody here is kind of my way or no way. If you are dealing here with someone at work, no matter whatever here the, this person tells you, it's always their way. Five of uh, Swords is a selfish energy. And somebody here, whatever they do, is they are doing for their own good. So if they are telling you, I do this for us or for the collective, there's something here not quite. So somebody here is a fake person or they bring something fake, yes. It's for their own gains, for their own uh, finances. For others of you, if you are a business owner or you conduct your own business or you work for yourself, yes, there are certain people here who will want to be like you or take things from you. So protect yourself and your business. Do it in a good way for you. Cancerians. Three of Cups, meeting new people today or going for a meeting or seeing new people. For some of you, you might meet today somebody here. And be careful. There's something here like you, you know, when we're meeting friends of friends or we gather together, 
Spirit says take it on a light note because for some of you your opinion and somebody's opinion might not be like the same so you don't want to end the, the meeting or the day in a negative note okay for some of you you might meeting here with an old friend Believe it or not, that person never changed and is not going to change. You know, certain people are way behind you. You are way too far away from them. And, you know, it's, it's no point to show them you are correct or not. Sometimes it's better just to let go. Because sometimes certain um, certain people are, can be changed their point of view. If they think that this is pink, but it's yellow, let them think it's pink. Leo's three of swords for you darlings knight of pentacles and eight of wands it's kind of things are getting better you are could needed some time to get over a situation but now you are in a better better situation or better energy I feel here for some of you you could take a lot of time to heal for some of you you are you are healing after someone cheated on you or you if you didn't date for quite a long time now you considering dating people or consider to see other people or even it's not like considering but if you didn't even talk with anyone or didn't even were to do anything about love i feel here you will start you know chit chatting with new people or knowing other people and so on it's kind of you, you are in a much better energy than you used to before. Virgos, we have a two of pentacles, ten of pentacles, and ten of cups. Wow. There's certain thing here you want to do, and it's kind of, I consider, but I'm not sure if this is good for me. You know, Spirit says you might be quite surprised if you've been thinking here for quite a while to do something you it's kind of one day and you are feeling like you know F it let me let me do it what I gonna lose either I will be happy either I will you know the other way but it seems here a Virgo I got this ten of wands the, the ten of swords is missing here for some of you, it's kind of either either I do something, either I don't. But there's some kind of release. Could be a mental release regards the situation. Could be, um, yeah, look at here. If you want to do something and you feel, if you need clarity regards something, I feel here you are going to do it, my loves. Whatever that is. There's this is something here a situation that ended, and the end it could could end even two years ago for some of you twelve years ago, for others of you Virgos you are ending a twelve year cycle right now. Okay. Libras, my Libras are waiting. Are you waiting for? For a contract of some kind or are you waiting or looking to make a decision regarding something with the Gemini energy here is kind of like probably you want to do it this in the next three weeks by the Gemini season it's kind of like follow your intuition there's something here like you you know when however if it's a major decision loves to do or make or it's for the long term do it when it's not the Mercury retrograde. In Mercury retrograde, you might have certain um, delay, certain, you know, backups. Scorpios, we have an Eight of Swords. You are moving away, loves, from some kind of situation. As it seems here, some of you made the decision already to move. And you could move towards a new beginning or to new love or to a new place. Whatever here you, it's like for some of you, you, you feel stuck in a situation and you, you don't know when the situation, the universe is helping you to move forward. Two weeks from now, one month or one month and a half from now, 
you might be in a whole different energy. Yes, for some of you, you might move towards the Sagittarius or could be someone in your life. What's the eight of swords clarifier? Yes, there's a situation here from the past. Some of you, you are moving from a situation here from the past. See here, two of swords and strength. Yeah, it's, it's like overcoming a situation here from the past. Could be with a Leo or a Sag or could be with... Could be in general in your life something here that you felt it's hard to move away from you are definitely are being held by the universe to move forward sagittarius we have page of swords six of pentacles sagittarius you're looking for a solution here or someone here looks for something let me see. Yeah, look at this pentacles. Some some of you you are looking how I can get away from something. And it seems here for some of you this is about your work. You you're looking for other ways here. And it seems here if you're looking for a new job, you are going to go forward to another job. If you are still studying right now something and you do something right now, you are definitely moving forward. Yeah, this is something new. Many, many of you, you are looking and going towards something new. If there is a person here, you are separated and you, you're looking if they are going to come or not. They will come eventually, okay? Could take some time but they will come however that says here there's a new beginning but many many of you since i have a lot of uh, pentacles and i have also cups many of you you are gonna have a new beginning the new beginning that you are definitely looking forward so if you're looking to have a new beginning in love or in your finances work there is something new coming in but yeah, it seems here is like somebody here might, might hit the rock bottom to understand that now is the time. So there's something here is like it's the time. Aquarius, Aquarius, Capricorn, my apologies. No, speaking of Aquarius, some of you might deal here with an Aquarius louse. With a fire sign. But somebody here decides to move forward with some kind of energy. Seven of Cups, Knight of Swords, and Four of Wands. Yes, somebody here definitely. If you are dealing here with someone and you're telling them I move on, they will be just kind of, okay, fine, move on. You don't understand why they do this. It's kind of be aware what you wish for because if you tell something, mean it. Because I see here there's a Capricorn who feels that somebody here is not to to fight for. But definitely here this person is not. For some of you, it's you. If somebody here tells you to move on, you're telling them, okay, fine, it's fine. It's fine with me. You do you. Do you and they don't understand why. Why there's no reaction? Why you are not fighting and things like this person seems like a, a very drum drama energy here. But yes, this person uh, definitely looks for a reaction from you. You know, some people need to grow up. And now we're moving to our Aquarians. Page of Wands. There's a message coming in, loves. Could be related work, could be related something you do. For others of you, there is a, a person here who wants to make things right with you, loves. Yes. There's something here you ended with this person. But yeah, this person uh, feels like now, uh, now they have what they did not have before. Probably maturity or probably courage there's something here about yeah 
what I'm feeling here, whoever here comes with whatever they comes, it's not taken back, but more likely I appreciate your insight, I appreciate your input, but you know our connection is gone. There's kind of the trust is gone. So even someone here comes, even someone want to talk to you, the connection is not going to be restored or there needs a lot, a lot of time and work for this connection to be restored. Because somebody here doesn't trust the other person. And by science, we have the Knight of Cups, Queen of Wands, Nine of Swords, and the world. Somebody here wants to go towards someone and doesn't know how to make it and look nice. You know, the best way is to not overthink it because that keeps you in a, in a pause or not movement. The best way is just to go and try. Do you have a rejection or you don't? But something here needs to go. Somebody here might, uh, might consider done and over. If you are not moved on from someone and definitely want, it's kind of it's up to you if you want to open this door or not. Could be the mother or father or someone here. Uh, a very, very close figure to you. What I'm feeling here, there is a misunderstanding for some of you that could be resolved, but definitely needs a lot of work to be done. It's a possible energy? Yes, absolutely. It is worth it? Yes. But depends on two parties. But somebody here needs to break the ice somehow. Love and light loves. Thank you for watching. Blessings. And I'll see all of you next time. Bye for now.